Hi there again, everybody. Martin Tyler along with Alan Smith for your commentary today on this match, which is going to have an extra factor to it, the heavy rain that's been falling. Yeah, the ball is going to skid across the surface. I did used to like these kind of conditions because you get one or two mistakes. If you're on your toes, it's one or two goals about for strikers. The game today is Plymouth Argyle against Berry. And this is the lineup for the home side. The system that we think they're going to go with is 4-5-1. That one striker will need a bit of support. Yeah, you do not want him to be left isolated. Otherwise, this formation will not work. This is how the visitors shape up. 4-4-2, but a diamond shape is how he's gone, particularly during matches. It may be that he's going to start with. This is how they love to play on the break. Can he do it? Right from the kickoff. It looked like scoring they have now. Sharp from the off, and what a good goal. Well, he gets the credit, and the credit was being in the right place at the right time. Yeah, I think the easiest goal he will score this entire season. It's been tight before that goal, but now the manager, he's so pleased because I reckon he feels his team could go on and win this. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Just looking back, as commentators do, on the previous meeting, which was a draw. Um, it does have some relevance I suppose because the sides are, are pretty well matched when you look at the the lineups that there are today but it's another day another game and we'll wait and see yeah well I don't know how many chances we'll see out there I think it's a case of if you do get a chance you'll need to take it because we have got two excellent defenses well all the attention on the uh, away side here because what a, a shock they brought to everybody the right kind of shock They've been absolutely at their full potential. I don't know if they can get any better than this, whether they can sustain it. Well, I don't think this team expected to be in this position in a promotion spot, but they've stuck together over the course of this campaign. A real unified outfit. Goal news from Doncaster. It's a goal for the visitors. 16 minutes played. Steered through. He's got his shot off now. Oh, it's a corner by that deflection. Put the corner in the middle. It's broken down, and they'll have to try again. Good distance to the clearance then. The good thing about these pitches these days, even when we're getting rain like we're getting here, it just goes straight through. It does, and uh, it means the ball moves so fast across the surface, and uh, that's great for attacking quick play. Good clearance. It's unlike him, really, to play the ball straight to the opposition. Now, here's a chance to get at the opposition. He's given it away. Fox. Here's Grant. Read the play well to intercept. A goal from uh, Millwall. It's a goal from Millwall. 29 minutes played, 1-0. Cheers, Alan. Looking for an opening with some good controlled build-up. That's proper clearance. Well away from the danger zone. The away team have won their last five games. But uh, on this ground against this opposition, to make it six is going to be a test. It will be, but this is a team that tends to, to keep the ball. Opportunity now! Wonderful reflexes. Goalkeeper out of position. And from close range, he really should have scored. Well, he should. That was a golden opportunity spurned.
Now a chance to get a bit of width into this attack. Oh, he spotted the pass and cut it out. Goal news from Millwall. It's a second goal for Millwall. 40 minutes played, 2-0. Great ball. Looks the goalkeeper in the eye. Well, they have cleared the danger. It was a decent opportunity, I think. that one no no problem at all well that pass never looked like reaching its target and they're away with the ball that's the referee's decision two added minutes two minutes of added time read the play well and that's half time signaled by the referee 1-0 the half-time score. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Yeah, it was a good first 45 minutes from the lad. Got the ball rolling with that goal, and he's been central to most of the good things his team has done. Ball is moving again for the start of the second half. Maybe just missed, kicked it a little bit there, and pass goes straight to the opposition. Fox. Well, he's pressed him there to running the ball out of play. There's been a penalty involving Burton. It's a penalty for Burton Albion. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. Here he comes. Oh, he went for massive power off the crossbar and blasted over. 51 minutes played. It remains nil-nil. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McInally. Thanks, Alan. Chance to cross it. I think the opposition looks as though they believe they'd get through them, but they haven't. And now they can get on the ball and play. Goal news from Bristol Rovers. It's a second goal for Coventry City. 57 minutes played. 2 0. Cheers, Alan. Delivered into the box. Well, he scored. And it's a big moment for them in the match. They've pushed their lead now to two ahead. They've played well to this point. But sometimes a two goal lead can be a dangerous one. We'll see. A goal here to Saber. The defenders seem to lose the concentration almost. They saw it coming from a long way out. Well, they want to see this again, this goal. Just widen the... Margin here to 2 0. Fox. A penalty at Wickham. It's a penalty for the visitors. He's put the ball down on the spot. He steps up to take it. He's put it wide. 61 minutes played. It remains 1 0. Thank you very much, Alan. The owner of the blue car registration, Building steadily here, keeping possession. Pull it back here to set up a chance. Tried to keep it down, but couldn't. If he had of, I think the keeper might have been struggling there. Here's Grant. The pass threaded through. Oh, it's a corner. Why that deflection? Well, they haven't had much to shout about. Desperately need something to happen here, though, or else I can't see him getting back into it. Corner played into the middle. 
Could have halved the deficit there. Oh, that's when you need your front man to be nice and composed and to be clinical, and he just wasn't that from close in. A penalty at Bradford. It's a penalty for Bradford City. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. Up he comes, here's a chance, a little step of the run and a check and a beautiful penalty. Completely outboxed the goalkeeper. 72 minutes played, 2-2. Two -two. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. To David Fox now. Well, the wide man can show his skills here. A simple piece of defending, really. Gives it away. Supporting player alongside. To Moore. Well, we've got an angle on this uh, offside call. And then I must say, it is the most difficult thing in all the officiating, I think. But this assistant has got eagle eyes. Well, I certainly wouldn't want to do that job because... Uh, the uh, speed that players move now as it turns out what a great call substitution time and on the clock eight more minutes well here's an opportunity with the ball over the top can he clear his lines now? No nonsense defending from him. Loses possession. Clear his lines. Fourth official has indicated three more minutes. There's only a minute to go. Defended well. There it is, the final whistle. Can't get much better than this, really, Alan, to win and keep a clean sheet. Yeah, I think that will be the pleasing aspect of it, as well as the three points, the clean sheet, uh, particularly the keeper. I'm delighted with that. I think he was the best performer in a good team today. Oh, lots of energy, lots of quality, and a good goal, along with plenty of chances. Hi everybody, welcome to you all. Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith. Uh, Alan's been assessing the conditions 
Uh, it's raining. Is that going to help the attackers, do you think? Well, it normally does. Tends to lead to one or two mistakes from defenders. Looked at the forecast beforehand. I don't think this rain's going to let up. Where on earth are the goals going to come from for the visiting team today, given the paucity of their scoring record so far? Well, you look at the chances created, and there's uh, been enough to warrant more goals scored than they actually have. Berry, how well they played in their previous game to win away against Plymouth Argyle. Yeah, and I think the confidence that they gained from that 2-0 win will be enough for them here today. So this is how the hosts line up today. 4-4-2, but a diamond shape is how he's gone, particularly during matches. It may be that he's going to start with a diamond today. Yeah, but I've seen this manager so often switch formations midstream during the course of a match, and we might see that again today. The lineup for the away side. Well, it's a variation on a theme, really, isn't it? What we're saying is, instead of a back three, he's going to have a back five, and those uh, wide wing backs, as we would call them, are going to be more defensive. Huh? And here's the shot. He's had a real go. It's a decent effort, that, with plenty of sting in it. Yeah, not far away. He really did visit, didn't he? It's a very tight game between these two on the home ground of the team that's the visiting team today. I wonder whether it'll be similar today after a goalless draw, but I'd be surprised looking at the talent on view. Yeah, you don't normally get two games the same, and as you say, there's, uh, there's enough players out there to break the deadlock. In with a chance, right from the kickoff. They look like scoring they have now. Sharp from the off, and what a good goal. Well, this is what you call leading from the front a strike from the skipper yeah he's popped up at a very good moment there well let's take another look at the goal has opened the scoring, 1-0 here. Adams. Stokes. Looking for an opening with some good control build-up. He's had a go here! Tried to get the right contact there, but couldn't quite manage it. Yeah, he's ended up looking a little bit silly, but uh, if you don't try those things, you're never going to succeed, are you? to Davis. Will Darren Bentley please meet your wife at the ticket office? And it's gone out of play there. Hendry. Plenty of width for the team to attack into. He'll need to try and get the ball back now. The shot's on! The keeper kept it out. Test of his control now. Room now out on the wing. Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. Looking for teammates in the middle. And that will be a throw. Nicky Maynard. It's a neat pass. Well, they have cleared the danger. It was a decent opportunity, I think. Adams. That's an excellent cross. Well, it was a cross, but he got in quickly, but he didn't really control. 
Alan, your view on the attempt at goal. Put the corner in the middle. Good distance to the clearance then. It's a corner again. Corner played in. Cleared away, well away from goal. Can go in from here. Stopping the pass, getting through with a good piece of anticipation. The good thing about these pitches these days, even when we're getting rain like we're getting here, it just goes straight through. It does, and uh, it means the ball moves so fast across this. Good vision. A little too eager to get in behind the opposition, caught offside. Stokes. The target today for the home side is incredibly a seventh consecutive victory. Well, it's been fantastic form from them, and on their own patch, they will be full of confidence. Opportunity in a wider area. Can he pick somebody out with this pullback? And they've got the equaliser. Well, great scenes of jubilation here, having got that equaliser had to work so hard to achieve it a good look here again by the replay of the goal every manager wants to see his team have bounce back ability as we say and he's just seen that from his players it is uh, level both sides have scored here now Whitehouse Well, the referee has blown for half-time at 1-1. Half-time, and the team that were concerned about scoring have done that and really put themselves in the contest. Yeah, well, maybe it's one of those games that they take a draw out of. Might just nick a win if they can find something. Tough test this for the players in the second half and the referee as well who might have a big decision to make at the moment he says we can play on but that might be in doubt as the second half wears on a goal from Blackpool it's a second goal for Blackpool 47 minutes played 2-0 cheers Alan Hendrick looks the goalkeeper in the eye Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. Only partially away. Hit the post! Whitehouse. Saw the pass coming and got there first. Chance to go at the opposition with pace. So close, inches away. But they are playing well. I fancy him to get another chance and uh, get the noses in front here. A great chance to go in front. He looked to be maybe too precise, Alan. Yeah, I think so. Instead of just getting some power behind it, try to be a bit too clever from close in. Alan mcanally has got something to tell us about a goal at the KC Stadium. It's a second goal. Cleverly done got the away manager indicating he wants to make a substitution now the news from Alan McAnally was that Hull City had scored in that game apologies for cutting him short and the score is 2-1 shots off 
working hard to try and get a goal in a crowded area. Not the easiest chance he'll get today, I don't think. We can go to Alan McAnally now for news of a goal from elsewhere. It's a goal for the home team. 64 minutes played, 1-1. One, one. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. Slip through. Wonderful chance. Corner given. Short corner. Manager thinking for the away side, time for a change. Striding forward, purposefully. To put them in front. And it's going to be a, a throw here. And the manager deciding to go for it and bring on a new player. Adams. Stokes. He's got his shot off now. He's blocked the shot well. Deflected behind. A clear corner. Corner swung in, and they get it away. Strange game at the moment, the attacking team having all the ball, but not really making many chances because the opposition are defending in numbers. Must take the lead here, which they do in good style. Now they played some good football leading up to that, Martin, and thoroughly deserved that goal. He took it with great aplomb. I'm sure getting the first goal gave him the confidence to grab the second chance here. Well, it's a goal worth replaying over and over again, isn't it? And we restart the game 2-1. Jordan Cook. Thomas. That's very good shielding of the ball. Working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal. Stokes. Pressure to absorb high up the pitch. It's a terrific effort by the home side here. They've just kept their noses in front. And they're going to need all the support they can get for that to continue. To... Could he really wrap it up now? Splendid goal here. Three of the best. He's made them pay. And that completes a wonderful hat trick. Well, Alan, maybe that's the one he'll treasure the most because it's given him the hat-trick. Yeah, and uh, he'll be taking home that match ball with a great deal of pride. And the manager's decided for a change of personnel. Three one the scoreline as we restart the game. Time is ticking away here. Four minutes to go. Jordan Cook.
two ooze around the uh, crowd for a three-minute add-on. This is what we're going to get for added time. That's a good spot by the defender. Room now out of the wing. Going forward well. Real opening now. Corner kick given. And in it goes. Well, that's good defending. Miller. And he's blown his whistle for the last time. It was absolutely extraordinary, exceptional, elegant, excellent. Taking home the match ball and thoroughly deserved. Pleasure to be here to see him grab that hat-trick in what was a really accomplished team performance.